everyone, thanks so much for joining me. Today we are talking all about travel fashion, so if you'd like to hear about that, please keep watching. I am all packed and ready for a trip to Italy, so if you're interested in seeing what I packed, I'm gonna go ahead and try everything on for you if you are just interested in beauty. I will be back with beauty content the next time, so I will see you the next time. If you don't wanna watch this one, I understand, but some of you love fashion, so let's go ahead and talk about what I'm packing, like I said, we're going to Italy. They are having a heat wave right now, so I'm trying to pack very light clothes, which makes it a little bit easier. If you're packing bulky clothes, there are very few options because it takes up so much space, but I have some dresses that are like this small when they're packed up, so I have several dresses, pants, shorts, tops, um, swimsuit, and several pairs of shoes. So I did actually pack for a check-in, which I normally don't do, but I feel like for 10 days, I need a little bit more skincare than I can just carry on just because of the liquids. Um, and that gives me a little bit more room for a few more items as well. So I'm gonna try them all on for you. What makes this easy is that I have a travel shelf that I actually just insert into my suitcase when I'm ready to go. But a couple of weeks before we go, I start, as I do laundry, putting things in as they come out of the dryer or as they're done hanging, and then I just fold them in there so I'm ready to go with all the things I know I wanna take with me. But there are some things that are more seasonal that I haven't worn for a while, I just wanna make sure they fit, zippers and buttons and all of that works so I'm not you know, distracted with trying to fix those things while I'm on vacation. So I would do this anyway, I thought I'd just document it for you. I also have a travel hack for you along the way. I thought it was my idea, but then I read an article about it after I did it, so I'm gonna share that with you as well, and I think that's it. And in case you're wondering about the hat, I forgot to mention I'm wearing this hat because I take it with me whenever I travel, whether it's a road trip or an airplane, and even on the daily, most days when I'm outside, I wear this hat because it is another layer of sun protection, and I wear it on the plane just like this. This is how I go on the plane, um, so it's a little bit of an inconvenience, you can pack it, but my other one got smushed, so I don't pack it anymore. Uh, so I am taking this with me. It's my favorite accessory and so easy to get ready because my hair doesn't have to be done. I can actually just put it in like a ponytail or a bun and then I can go. So I just, I don't wanna spend as much time putting on makeup or doing my hair on vacation. I just wanna go and be out and see things. Um, I'm also doing a quick like travel beauty routine that I've recorded for you uh, where I don't use foundation, but it's just, it's enough. It's a just enough kind of makeup routine with SPF. So long rambly, if you'd like to see what I'm bringing with me, please keep watching. Starting with the shoes, I just have some Javiana's flip flops, great for the hotel room and also the pool. Then we've got the Adidas, those will be for walking. So any of the in a town kinds of things on cobblestone i think will be really great for and also the plane i'll be wearing those so thank you again for helping me decide on which ones to keep then we've got these more stylish gucci sneakers and i also have the what are they called atrex insoles in there i think they're running insoles but they're way more comfortable than just a basic insole so i put those in there so these are the aquatalia woven flats really comfortable around here but not the most comfortable flats on the bottom they're just they don't have any real cushioning in them so not great for cobblestone but if we're just going a couple blocks in the evening then i think that's fine to wear but i wouldn't walk around town in those but i think they're really versatile then we have some, these are old, but they're very comfortable. They're Steve Madden slides, just for something casual. Again, if I'm not going too far, so maybe going to the hotel breakfast to eat or something like that. I showed them to you last time. They're the Sea Star water shoes. I almost forgot to pack them, but those will be great for the beach and then also near the beach. And then we've got one, just in case we do something dressy, I don't think we will, but this is just in case. These are Jeffrey Campbell sandals, the strappy kind. They're not the most comfortable to walk in, but they are the easiest to pack because you can see how light they are and also how low the heel is. So I thought they would be easy to pack. So that's just kind of emergency kinds of shoes in case we do end up doing something dressy. This I would consider a panic shopping outfit. I just said I didn't have enough pants so I decided I needed to get some. So these are linen and rayon, and they are actually from Nordstrom Rack. So they weren't that expensive. I think they were under $30. And then I'm bringing this not for anything valuable because I know um, I'll be keeping everything like in an inside belt, but this is for like lotion and 
hand sanitizer and lip gloss and things like that. So I thought that was a good one because I can tuck it under my arm too like this. So even that can be a little bit more secure and it's a little off the shoulder top. This is by Madewell and really happy with this little outfit I found because it's got a flat front but the back is elastic. Really comfortable and looks cute with these shoes although these are not the ones I would probably wear that I probably would wear um, maybe my Gucci shoes with it. So let me just see what that, that looks like. But this is really cute. And it also looks cute with the Gucci shoes, I think for something more casual. I also forgot to mention, I got this Chanel, like it's pretty much a glorified sweatshirt. So it's got um, some kind of like a raised design on it, but it can be kind of compact and not get wrinkled. I've had this folded up in my laundry for a few days now, so it still looks like it doesn't need pressing or anything like that. So I thought in case it gets a little bit cool, then I've got that ready to go. So it works really well with this. So I'm happy about that. And I think it just kind of elevates something that's basic. And did I mention these pants have pockets? So this is a little wrinkled because it's been sitting in the shelf for a couple days. So I can just press it when I get there. But this is the picnic top linen top by Everlane and the Vince skirt that I wear all the time. And these are the Aquatalia woven flats. Really nice together. There are many other options. I could wear the, probably those little heeled sandals or also the Gucci shoes I could wear with this. So very versatile. And I got this probably a year or two ago, last year maybe. I've had it for a year, no, two years. No, I can't remember. I've had it for one or two years, I can't remember. This is from Anthropology. It's a strapless jumpsuit and has a lot of structure and like there's boning in here, but it's comfortable, again, with the pockets. And I think this can be dressed up or down depending on where you're going. So we're going to Capri, so I thought this would be kind of a fun thing to take for maybe an evening out. Yeah, I'm glad I picked this up. It's really comfortable. The cut is good. I'm always happy when I wear it. I wasn't sure about these pants at first, but they're just so comfortable that I'm taking them because they feel like pajamas and they're kind of fun. So I got that from, I got these pants from Anthropology. I'm gonna say last year. And then this top is from Millie, I think, but they're both very comfortable. And then this is the top I usually wear with that Vince skirt. So I can interchange them as well. But I know I keep wearing them with the sandals because they just look better with the sandals, but I know I'll wear them probably with the woven. Yeah, I think those woven shoes. And I think it's okay that this is white and those are not white. It's fine. So if you saw my Instagram page, this is that Norma Kamali dress. It's off the shoulder. You see, sorry, the camera is just in the wrong place, right here. <laughs> and I think I could just wear it with these shoes. So this is one of those like really, really lightweight pieces that can be pretty much balled up in your luggage and then um, looks like fine when you take it out, not wrinkled at all. So I'm gonna show you how small this gets because I have a navy one that I'm taking as well. So I don't know if you can see how small that is, but that is the navy dress just folded up. Very, very small, so no wrinkles at all. And I like to be prepared, so in the case that we have to go somewhere that's dressy, then this will do it. So I just put on the jacket and then put on the heels and it looks like, it looks like I'm dressed up. So that's a good solution too. So when you pack, just think about the pieces that you can put together and pull together really quickly because I've been in situations where I wasn't prepared and I was able to just piecemeal some things, maybe go to the gift shop and pick something up to put together. So this will be good though, just, just in case. This is a Michael Starrs dress. It's ruched, so it has two layers. I think it's more flattering because it has two layers because the ruching is happening on top of an interior layer, interior layer. So it's not like it's just the ruching because I have one in addition to this that doesn't have that second layer inside. So it's, a, it's not as well fitting, but I thought I would bring this. Um, I mean, I thought I am bringing this. It's going to hold like my toiletries and makeup and things in my carry-on, but then it's just like a catch-all kind of backpack. 
And I'll probably just put water in here. I mean, if I'm wearing these shoes, that means I'm walking around. So like water and sanitizer again, anything like that lip gloss in here. So I would have to put my like valuables somewhere else. Maybe, I don't know if the belt will fit under here, but, and then this backpack is just for those like essential, other essential things that are not so much valuables, but just things I wanna take with me. And this is called, I think the just in case backpack. This actually folds up into a little pouch. If you wanna take the pouch with you, I think I'm not going to, well, not thinking about it, I probably could put something else in there, but uh, this will come in handy for those days when I'm wearing these shoes. This is the other Michael Starr's dress, not as forgiving, but I like the length of it. It's very like an elegant length, but it's very snug and does not have the same like double layer as the other one. So I have a little trick for that. If your clothes are a little bit too snug, like this is form fitting. There's really not much room for error at this point. Um, so I will show you what I bring with me that I use quite a bit and it's very helpful to have. So as you can see, I just have an oversized white shirt or actually I'm gonna take one that is not oversized as well, but it works It works well as kind of a solutions in case maybe even you spilled something on your clothes. So it's not unusual that I'll wear something like this on a daily anyway, just over a tank top or something that's a little bit more revealing. So something lightweight though, really nice to just have to put on. It's a little bit more crisp and especially if you are going to some place where you need your shoulders covered, this also helps. So if you have it just wrapped around your shoulders and then you have it to put on, that's a really nice thing. Or I could just put it in that little backpack and have it with me in case I needed it. And this dress is from Free People. And my mom actually purchased it for me when she was here. So I think it was a really reasonable price too. And of course, pockets. I think those Gucci shoes will work really well with this also because I think this is a little bit more casual and it has lining in it, which is so great. So sometimes I think white dresses are hard to find because they're not lined and it's a lot of extra effort to wear them, but this is lined so I don't need to add anything else to it. Yeah, and super, like I said, very comfortable. So here we are with the Gucci's. Very easy to just transition these into more of a comfortable walking kind of outfit. Because <laughs> I have a feeling after, you know, a couple days, it's good to just have a, a few shoes too that are comfortable because that way you can switch because even the most comfortable shoes, my feet get tired in the same position. So it'll help to have these as well. So this is just like your standard sightseeing outfit. So I have this over my shoulders in case it gets cooler. And then um, these shoes again that you helped me pick out. And these shorts are Vince and this tank top just like was from Nordstrom Rack, I think. So nothing special, just a very basic, but also really comfortable and good for hot weather. So this is my swimsuit that I'm taking with me. So it's strapless and it's like a tankini because it's a two piece. There was a strap. There is a strap that goes with it, but I'm not taking it with me. I don't wear it with a strap. And then it has these bottoms. So they're kind of high-waisted or you could fold it, but I like to wear it as like a one piece. So I don't like the feeling of a one piece, but I like the look of a one piece. So that kind of solves the problem there. Um, and this is by, I think Ann Cole. I got it last year, Ann Cole, yeah. And then I have a caftan. Actually, this is one of the things I got from the, that Rachel Zoe box of style when I used to get that. And it's like the one thing that I'm glad I have. This is by Michael Stars and it's like a long caftan kind of thing. So it's sheer, but it's really great to cover up that swimsuit. So I love that. Oh, I forgot to mention my hack. So in here are a few like two gallon Ziploc bags and then this, is a bag of powdered detergent. So you take your two gallon bag like this and you put some powdered detergent in there and then water and then you put your clothes in there and you wash them. I think that's a one gallon, but you get the point. So it's like, this is your washing machine. So you don't have to use the sink. You just wash it in your plastic bag. And that's it, so I hope you enjoy that. And please let me know if you're vacationing or not vacationing, just what some of your packing tips are because I always love to hear about how other people pack, how they have little tips and tricks to make things easier and more efficient. So if you enjoyed that video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.